Hello families, it's story time again. I hope you're all bundled up. It's gotten chilly and I hope you're ready for our story. I will tell you, it's somewhat stressful, but it's still a good story, so I thought I would share it. Our story is called Peanut Butter and Homework Sandwiches, and it's by Lisa Cook and illustrated by Jack Davis. Do you remember what illustrated means, children? It means that's who's, who drew the pictures. Here we go. First of all, it's stressful for me to even start this story because look at what that is. And you know Miss Patty does not like spiders. So here we go. It was Monday and all Martin McGregor wanted to do was go to school. Mr. Elliot was the coolest teacher ever and this was the day he was going to bring in his pet Harriet, the tarantula. But when Martin but when Martin burst into class, he was surprised to see a tall lady with orange hair piled on top of her head. My name is Mrs. Payne. Mr. Elliot would be out for school for a while. Martin McGregor learned two things at school that day. One, Mr. M Mr. Elliot had broken his arm mountain climbing. And the other was Mrs. Payne loved to give mountains of homework. After school, Martin McGregor sat down to do his homework. Just as he worked the last problem, he spied the jar of peanut butter on the kitchen counter. Sadie, I need some brain food, he said. Martin slopped the peanut butter on one slice of bread and dripped a mountain of jelly on the other. The peanut butter and jelly oozed out the side as Martin took his big bite. Splat! Martin's paper was covered with peanut butter and jelly. Oh great, Martin got up to get a paper towel, but before he could clean up the mess, Sadie was doing it for him. Sadie, you didn't just eat the peanut butter, you ate the whole paper, yelled Martin. This gives a whole new meaning to the dog ate my homework. What will Mrs. Payne think? On Tuesday morning, when Martin tried to tell Mrs. Payne that his dog really and truly ate his homework, she did not believe him. Martin McGregor had to redo his homework and miss playing kickball at recess. Martin learned one more thing about Mrs. Payne that day. There were absolutely no excuses for no homework. When Martin got home from school, his mother said, I'm washing jeans, Martin. Throw in the ones you are wearing. Martin dropped his jeans into the washer and watched the water swish around the clothes. Then he headed upstairs to start his homework. Sadie followed close behind, hoping for more peanut butter. Martin McGregor reached into his pocket for his spelling paper. My homework, yelled Martin as he raced back downstairs to the washer. It was too late. The spin cycle had begun and Martin McGregor's homework was faded beyond recognition. Martin McGregor learned on Wednesday that Mrs. Payne didn't like stiff and bleached out homework. He had to miss kickball again and write over and over, I will do my homework neatly. I will do my homework neatly. Mr. Elliot would never make me do this, Martin mumbled under his breath. Thursday morning was a little crazy in the McGregor house. It was the first day of preschool for Martin's little sister. She was so excited that she practically bounced right out of her chair and didn't touch her eggs. She insisted on a backpack, just like her big brothers. His mom dropped off Martin first. He grabbed his backpack out of the van and raced into the room to give Mrs. Payne his homework. Mrs. Payne, I have my homework today, Martin said excitedly. He opened his backpack. Martin McGregor couldn't believe his eyes. The backpack had no homework. Instead, he saw the yellow hair of Miss Nettie, his sister's favorite doll. Looky, looky, Martin brought his dolly, cried Samuel Hall. He grabbed Miss Nettie and started to throw her around. Martin McGregor tried desperately to catch Miss Nettie, but he was unsuccessful. Mrs. Payne was successful. She grabbed Miss Nettie in midair and marched Martin and Samuel to the principal's office. 
This is just not going well for Martin. Martin McGregor missed recess again. Worst of all, he had to sit next to Samuel Hall, the taker of everyone's dessert, at lunch for the rest of the week. That evening, Martin's dad stopped by his room. How's the homework going, son? Martin sighed and plopped his head down on the dictionary. Why can't she give us something interesting for homework? This is boring. After you finish, why not think up your own homework, he, his dad said. Why do you want, what do you want to learn about? You can research it on the computer. Martin got a fabulous idea. He spent the rest of the evening on his homework. Harriet made the perfect subject. Martin made a book of tarantula facts. He filled his wall with pictures of, heart of tarantulas. He made a tarantula out of clay and pipe cleaners. Martin even turned Sadie into a tarantula by adding extra legs to her with his dad's black socks. At dinner, he even made one out of the chicken, out of his chicken and noodles. It's hard to see this book, that's why I'm having a hard time. Our photographer keeps telling me to change the angle and I'm changing it so I can see it. Friday morning, Martin wasn't taking any chances. He held his stack of, of definitions all the way to school. As he approached the building, a sudden gust of wind sent the papers flying. No matter how fast Martin ran, the papers blew faster. He caught one, then another, but the last two did loopy loops in the sky before landing on the roof of the school. Martin McGregor had to redo the two lost pages of definitions, and he had to look up 10 extra words. He learned homework on the roof didn't count, according to Mrs. Payne. The next week, Martin McGregor dragged himself into the classroom. He had put his homework carefully in his backpack, but he worried something would go wrong and Mrs. Payne would be unhappy with him. When he got to the classroom, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was Mr. Elliot's pet tarantula, Harriet. Martin McGregor saw a smiling Mr. Elliot. Good to be back. How did it go last week, Martin? How did it go last week? Asked, oh, oh my goodness. Good to be back. How did last week go, Martin? Asked Mr. Elliot. Martin McGregor was speechless. At the end of the day, Mr. Elliot said, Class, I have your homework assignment. The room was full, filled with groans. Mr. Elliot continued, I want you to find out everything you can about tarantulas. Whoever finds the most facts can feed Harriet next week and keep her for the weekend. The room was filled with cheers. Imagine how excited Ma Mark McGregor must have felt. Mark McGregor grinned and thought, I wonder how my mom and sister will feel about a weekend guest. So Martin had a pretty rough week, and sometimes we do have rough weeks, but you know what? The work he did ahead of time made it so that he was going to definitely win the contest to get to take the tarantula home, although I'm not so sure that would be a fun thing to do. I would be very, very scared. <laughs> well, listen, you all have a great weekend. I will talk with you on Monday, and we are going to start the month of May next week. Uh, we'll start Monday in April, but we're going to turn it into the month of May, and we're going to hope and pray that it is a great month and that Florida gets healthier and we can open soon. So I'll talk to all of you soon. Have a great weekend.